We're living through a mobile telecommunications revolution. Phone technology is progressing faster than many of us can keep up with, and Barcelona is where the tech giants come each year to tout their wares. Smartphones, tablets, devices and gizmos, they're all on display here in a riot of digital dazzle. We pride ourselves that this is the place where people come to do business for the mobile industry. So it's a business-to-business -business event, but we really feel it's a key place where we bring all participants in this growing ecosystem together. There are high-profile dissenters, though. There's no sign of Apple here, and like the iPhone maker, Samsung now chooses to reveal its flagship handsets away from trade fairs like this. So, just approach your phone here. But this event is about more than just handsets. Soon, mobile technology is going to be built into just about anything. This is a mobile phone-controlled robotic vacuum cleaner. Say I'm out and about in town with a friend and we want to come back to my place, but I've remembered it's incredibly dirty. Now, before we get there from my mobile, I can set the robot onto its cleaning program. And hey, presto, while we're on the bus, Whirring whizzy blades come on and it starts hoovering up the dust. <laughs> uh, mobile used to be about people talking to people, then it became a little more people talking to the machines. But increasingly we're talking about machine to machine. Such developments mean mobile operators will probably be making more money from data than they are from voice calls by 2018. Surfing this digital wave are a host of companies anticipating a surge in data-driven consumerism. This jacket, it's just a bit boring, I think. Maybe I need to refresh my wardrobe. So I can use my tablet. She looks nice. Maybe I'd look good in that. So I press on her. Now I can shop the look across everything that's available on eBay. It will choose shoes, dress, handbag, pulling out different swatches, different pictures, analyzing all the different products and finding me the corresponding matches. Shoes, dress, handbag. At the moment, these are mainly first world solutions for first world problems. But a general rule of technology is that what only the rich can afford today, tomorrow is in the hands of the masses. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.